started on the memory verse. So this is how it's gonna go. I'm gonna say one part of the memory verse and you're gonna repeat me exactly the way I do it. All right, let's get started. Everybody on your boogie. All right, Mark. Oh, uh, come on guys. I need every single one of you doing it. All right, oh my God, is that a wave? Oh my God, I see a wave. I see a wave, everybody. Get on your boogie, get on your boogie. Mark, three. 35 for whoever does the will of God. He is your brother, your sister, and mother. Mark, three, 35. All right, give it up, boys and girls. Good job, everybody. All right, I gotta head off. Enjoy the rest of the safari. Woo! Boys and girls, you know who I am. I'm Pastor Diego, and it is an honor to be with you today to share with you some things we've been learning about. We've been talking about being a family. What does it really mean to be a family? You know what a natural family looks like when you have a, a daddy and you have a mommy and you have a grandpa and you have a grandma and you have a brother, you have a sister. Uh, we can relate to that. We understand that even though sometimes our families can look a little bit different because we don't have, let's just say, a, a daddy or a grandpa. We're part of a spiritual family. When we accept Jesus Christ, we are united. We come into the family of God. It's like he adopts us. He brings us into that family, and that family is going to live forever. It's an eternal family. Our families that we have now are just earthly families. But with Jesus, we have an eternal family. We have like, we have love here, but we have an endless love with Jesus. And we are part of that family today. Every one of us have special gifts in that family. Every one of us have special talents in that family. Jesus has given every one of us special abilities in that family. That's why some of you are really good in math and maybe some of you are really good in PE. Let me hear you make some noise. Any math uh, geniuses today? Any P geniuses today? Scream. Some of you are really good at Nintendo games or whatever game that you play out there. Uh, and some of you are really good at running or swimming and you have a talent or gift. Those are natural talents. God gives us all a spiritual talent. That's what you will use when you get bigger. That's what's being exposed here. You're discovering right now. It might be an, uh, an amazing smile that you have, a positive outlook. You are always very concerned about people suffering. It's going to lead to maybe what you'll do for what we call a job or a career. I pray that you discover the uniqueness of who you are. Don't let anyone make fun of the uniqueness of what you are in the family of God. Many of us struggle, at least I did when I was a little boy, because I thought I was maybe too short, or I thought I was too big, or, or maybe I, I thought I didn't measure up. But the reality is, is God used me as you look around and you see this beautiful church that we have. That was part of the gift that I discovered. The enemy always wants to lie to us and say that we don't have gifts. Every one of you are uniquely formed and gifted by God. And I pray that you bust out of your box and your shell and discover today and ask Jesus, what have I been gifted to do to influence and impact the world today? You are part of the family and God has gifted you with something special to give back to the family, the church your natural family, and this world that will give glory to God. Thank you for listening to me today. Hey, boys and girls, we've been talking about family. And you, would you like to join Jesus' family? I know you would. I want you to 
recognize today that Jesus welcomes you. He would love for you to be part of his family. And when you're part of his family, then you get all the blessings of that, of that family. You get all the benefits of that family. You get all the happiness and joy of being part of that family. Some of our fam natural families aren't very fun sometimes, and there's a lot of hurt there. Sometimes in this world, this world has a lot of pain. But when you join the family of God, you eventually will go to heaven. And, you will, and Jesus will be with you and he'll walk with you through your greatest struggle, through your greatest pain, through your di greatest difficulty, whether it is dealing with school projects or whether it's dealing with rejection from your, uh, your friends or just simply sadness. Today, if you'd like to join Jesus' family and invite him into your heart, all you have to do is say this little prayer. And I want to invite you to do that. Just say, Dear Jesus, I want to be part of your family. I ask you now to save me. I acknowledge you as the Lord of my life. From this moment forward, I am a Christian. I'm a follower of Jesus, and I am a child of God. And now I will serve God all the days of my life. I am part of God's family. Amen. We love you. Thanks for saying that prayer with us.